Hey guys, this is your Madam Vaish and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing how to calculate percentage abundance from mass spectrum and average atomic mass value. Let's begin. The first question here shows a mass spectrum of iridium and you are required to calculate the percentage abundance of each isotope. As you can see, a mass spectrum contains relative abundance and mass charge ratio. In order to calculate the percentage abundance, choose an isotope and compare its relative abundance with the total relative abundance. Here, I'll be choosing iridium-191 and its relative abundance would be 5.0 divided by the total relative abundance. And this value is then multiplied by 100% since the question is asking us percentage abundance. The value should be 38%. Next, do the same with the second isotope. The relative abundance of iridium-193 would be 8.0. Divide this value with the total abundance and multiply it with 100%. The answer would be 62%. Alternatively, since there are only two isotopes listed for iridium, you can calculate the percentage abundance of the second isotope by simply subtracting the percentage abundance of the first isotope from 100%. There you have it, a second alternative which has a much simpler working. Next, moving on to the second question, here we have the relative atomic mass of boron to be 10.8 and if boron consists of two isotopes namely boron 10 and boron 11, you are required to calculate the percentage abundance of each isotope. Firstly, let's assume that the percentage abundance of boron 10 to be x. Therefore, the percentage abundance of boron 11 would be 100 minus x. Next, do recall that relative atomic mass is also equivalent to average atomic mass value. So, average atomic mass comes with a formula that summation of key me over summation of T. So here, substitute in the corresponding values. Average atomic mass has got the same value as relative atomic mass, which is 10.8. Next, boron 10 has got an isotopic mass of 10, and you multiply it with x. So it would be 10x plus boron 11 would have an isotopic mass of 11 multiplied by its abundance, which is 100 minus x, and divided by the total abundance, which is x plus 100 minus x. After doing your cross multiplications, you should be able to get 1080 equivalent to 1100 minus x, whereby the value of x would be 20. Next, conclude your answers by saying, therefore, percentage abundance of boron 10 would be x with the value 20% and the percentage abundance of boron 11, which is 100 minus x, would be 80%. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next.